What's up guys, RGH Tutorials here again, showing you guys how to make a dev kit NAND on your RGH console. This will not work for JTAGs. Alright, you need your CPU key, your NAND, a Microsoft hard drive, not a USB or anything else, a USB spy or any way to flash your NAND. You won't be able to use Flash 360 or Excel for this, so you need a way to flash it manually. Alright, oh yeah, you also need RG Build 2, which is pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so let's start. You're going to want to put your nand.bin in the RG build2 folder. It needs to be na named nand.bin, can't be named anything else. Now you're going to want to edit the build.bat folder or file with your CPU key. Just right click it, hit edit, and your CPU key goes right there. Alright, then save it. Now just double click build bat and it will do it most of it for you. Just a few instructions. You're gonna to want to hit dev nand and one three five nine nine dash. And we're gonna do this console's a fat. If you have a slim, choose slim, it works on both, and it'll do all of it for you here. Alright, and it finished, press any key to continue, and it'll tell you you need to write it to NAND Pro in a special way, which I'll explain later. Alright, and the output will be in under builds. Mine named is uh, 13599-dev, and it'd be nandimage.bin, and just paste it into your uh, NAND Pro folder. Now right click uh, your NAND Pro folder, open command window here. Make sure your NAND image.bin is in that folder to flash. All right, and the command we're gonna want is NAND Pro, one word, space USB, colon, and then the at symbol, W16, then your name of your file. And the at W16 is the most important part. You're going to want that. And this takes like about seven minutes for me to flash my USB spy. So I'll just skip ahead a little bit. Also, the next step is in that folder, the RG build 2, there'll be a folder named dev kit. That needs to go on your hard drive. So. I'm going to open up my hard drive and export 360 and just drag the dev kit folder into partition 3. And you're going to want to back up your content folder and go ahead and delete that. If you've ever used it on your RGH before, it'll ruin things. So just go ahead and delete that and get it out of the way. And this needs to be an Xbox hard drive, not a USB or anything like that. So once you get that all done, settled, put in your hard drive and start up your RGH. The console boot times are a little slower, but I mean, it is a dev kit, it doesn't really matter. It's pretty amazing. And here it is, booting. Alright. Let me grab my controller here. Alright, and there's the dev kit. On the RGH has all the files of a normal dev kit working. There's the flash. And as the hack gets older, more things will come out. Soon we'll be able to use the SDK with it and all that other good stuff. So we'll look forward to more releases. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. If you've got any questions, just post a comment. Thanks.